This is one of the most recommended apps I give to people. It really changed my perspective on using tech intentionally. Now, in the beginning of the year, I decided to really focus on leaving big tech companies, the Apples, the Googles, Meta, all of these services that I no longer wanted to store my personal information on. One of the biggest issues I've had since leaving Apple over a year ago and then switching to Google is what do I do with all of my photos? I have lots of photos, not just personal photos, but I'm a content creator. So I take photos and videos constantly. I needed an app that could keep up with all of the devices I was using, as well as all the different operating systems I'm constantly switching on. The problem I had with Apple is that you have to stay in Apple. You can't really jump around different devices and use the ecosystem successfully. So once I left Apple and went to Google, I was able to switch amongst Google services, of course, but I had one big caveat. I didn't want Google accessing my information all the time, and I felt that Google just knew too much about me. I wanted to move to an application that was completely open source and had some accountability with how they were using the information that it was storing. Now, I've been talking a lot about Ente Photos for the past few months, but Ente actually reached out to me to sponsor this specific video so that way I can give you a little bit more information regarding the application as well as my personal experience onto why I switched to this specific application. One of my biggest discrepancies with other companies was the security and encryption. Recently, we've seen more and more with big companies and pressure from governments to allow access to our information. I think privacy and information is a human right, and I think we should have the right to have that information without companies having access to it or even governments for that matter. We don't necessarily need to be hiding anything, of course, but I don't want pictures of my child just being openly accessed or even used for AI training. So when I was looking for an application, I really wanted something security focused. I was so paranoid about companies using my data that I was only looking for a photo app for professional reasons. I was looking for one that I could really use day to day as a content creator. And eventually I ended up migrating my personal information because I had so much confidence in the product itself. Ente Photos has end-to-end -end encryption. We hear this a lot with so many different applications and it's almost used for marketing terminology. But when you're looking at end-to-end -end encryption, you have to be aware of one key factor, the key itself. Who has access to that data? Is there a way for other services to have access, even the service itself? Can they see your photos or information? Well, Ente Photos does not have access to your data and you are the holder of the key. Only you can access your photos and even Ente themselves cannot access your photos or information. This was super important to me. I didn't want companies going in, using my data, and now data is really a resource for companies to be able to train AI models. And speaking of AI, they do have a machine learning model with Ente Photos, but it's only saved on your device. I talked to them about this because I'm super paranoid about machine learning and AI in general. I don't want my data being used to train an AI model for other people to use with pictures of myself or my family. And since Ente Photos is open source, of course, they have audits and I can share a link down below if you want to know more about their auditing protocols. Another key factor for me was backups. This was one of the reasons I had left the other services and I ended up going onto an external hard drive for a bit, but unfortunately there was a fire next to my house and it kind of scared me to really think of where my data is being stored and having multiple backups. Now with my photos, I can be assured at least with Ente photos that my photos are backed up in three separate locations and all those locations are in Europe. So this is the Netherlands, France, and Germany. So all of my data is located in Europe and saved in Europe. So if something goes down at one of their sites, at least they have three copies of my photos and videos. Another huge factor for me for switching my photos application was having an application that works across different platforms, operating systems, and devices in general. I am a device switcher. It is my job. I'm a content creator focused on tech. So I'm constantly switching environments, ecosystems, operating systems, and I need an app that can work across all of them. So this automatically pushed Apple out of that category because it only works with Apple. 
so frustrating. I had been using Google Photos for a long time, especially for professional reasons, and I find that it was really lacking with desktop compatibility. It just wasn't fast. I had to access the web app, download things. It was really, really cumbersome. And I really wanted an app that worked directly on my desktop. And since recently I had switched to Linux, I wanted an open source app more specifically. Entate does that. It fills in all the gaps for all of my devices. Even my digital minimalist devices and quote unquote dumb phones support Ente Photos. I'm able to test the cameras, give more in-depth reviews on devices, and I'm able to automatically connect it to my desktop and edit my photos. I'm also able to share photos easily with family members and it just works across every platform. It's just so simple, but so efficient at the same time. When I take B-roll for my videos, I'm able to automatically access it via my desktop on my computer, very similar to Apple's continuity or AirDrop, and it's seamless. It works so fast. Honestly, I haven't found an app like it that works on so many platforms and so seamlessly. Now, one of the issues I've been holding back on for finding a new app is for family photos. Um, one of the reasons I left Apple and Google specifically is that I didn't want my son's images being used by companies to train AI models and anything that I wouldn't know it would be used for. And I really held back a long time. I have trust issues with tech companies now and Ente really assured me that they didn't have access to the photos and all of the machine learning happened on the device. So I decided to upload and transfer all of my photos from other services. I did this with my Google Photos account as well as Apple Photos. So you're talking thousands and thousands of photos that I easily migrated from both platforms with no issue. I even uploaded a lot of images and videos that I had transferred from old VHS cassettes. And again, no issue uploading them onto Ente Photos. The beautiful thing about the family option is that you can create accounts with your family. Everyone can have their separate private space and you can also of course have shared albums and folders. Another great feature is that you can have people who don't have an Ente Photos account add photos or videos from events or a shared folder that you give them access to. You can give it a limited time access as well so they can only upload after a certain period. For example, if your kid has a birthday party, you know people are taking photos and you want all of those photos in one place. This allows you to easily do that without having to have people create a new account for this service. Now, one thing a lot of people like about the other photo services is the memories option. Having a widget on your phone showing different memories from the past and Ente Photos has the same options. You can look at those photos, be reminded of memories. Those memories can be grouped together and easily searchable within Ente itself. I really love the option that the on-device machine learning model does is really divide things, put things into categories, and does all of the hard work for you. Nobody wants to go through and individually tag and put things together. It's just, it's really, it's not worth it. I tried it on my own, way too overwhelming. It took days to try to organize things myself. So I do really appreciate this fact. Pretty much all the major players have this tool, but Ente does it in an open source manner and a completely private manner. What's nice is that you can also hide memories. Um, especially for those of you who like those memories on your phone, you don't want any embarrassing memories showing up or random photos of parking spots or things that you don't really consider a memorable item. You can hide those memories so they're not popping up when you least expect them. Now the Ente photo search function is very good. You can add additional information such as descriptions and tags to make your search that much more powerful. It even uses natural language to allow search to be as effortless and as easy as possible. Honestly, I haven't had any issues finding specific photos that I need, and it's kind of nice knowing, again, that my data is not being used to train anything, and the AI model's not running with that information and taking it somewhere else. Now, besides being open source and having end-to-end -end encryption, Ente Photos also has two-factor authentication, so that way you can have that much more peace of mind when logging into your account. Now, if you're like me and take tons of photos and videos and you have a lot of doubles of things, perhaps you're migrating from two different platforms, but you have the same images, 
It does have a clear up space option. It can detect doubles, remove those elements and give you more space. Also what I liked about Ente Photos when I first signed up is that you get 10 gigabytes for free. You can also get more if you refer friends and family. I did this in the beginning and this gave me additional space that I didn't have to pay for. Honestly, between Apple and Google, I was spending hundreds of euros a year on storing my photos and videos. Now it's super cheap. To be honest, Ente Photos pricing is fantastic for the family accounts and honestly, even the free account. If you get your friends and family, you don't really have to pay to store all that information and it's just fantastic. It works so well. From an accessibility perspective, they have two themes. You have the light theme and the dark theme. And as somebody who prefers dark theme, because of my visual impairment, it's much appreciated. I find the user interface very simple, very straightforward. I haven't had any issues accessing information or finding what I need to find. It works great in the web app, on the desktop app, as well as my mobile apps. And it's just very simple but very functional. Now, a lot of you know recently, I've been fighting back against AI, and what I love about Ente Photos is that if you need support, you have real people to talk to. They're very fast, very helpful, especially for migrating or answering specific questions. I have a lot of trust issues, like I mentioned before, and they've been very supportive in giving me that information especially since I've been using Ente for many months, even before I agreed upon the sponsorship, they have been super supportive and helpful for users like myself. I am very pro companies who, again, are open source and to end encryption and use real people and interact in a customer service way without using an AI chatbot. As I mentioned previously, they have data centers in three countries, so France, Germany, and the Netherlands. For me, this is ultra important because I live in France. I want my data secured and stored nearby just in case something were to happen. I know that a lot of companies are based in the US. Ente is also based in the US, but they're an open source company and they have more of a global perspective. A lot of the people working for the company are not based in the US. And I think open source is just for me, a global community. But I also am aware about the data center locations and the security measures put in place. I know the laws in France and Germany and the Netherlands are a bit more strict than in the US. So I'm very confident and very happy that my information is stored in these specific locations. Now I'm going to be very transparent. Again, this video was sponsored, but you can try Ente Photos for free, 10 gigabytes for free. Give it a try, see if you like it. Honestly, I have no regrets since trying it out myself. Um, I found this application via F-Droid. Again, as somebody who likes to use open source apps, this is just one of those apps I found and truly fell in love with and recommend to as many people as I can, also to get more storage. But with that being said, I really love this app. The more I use it, the more I learn about it, and the more I discuss with Ente themselves, being real people, it's been really fun to see how they work and how they do things. For me, the more and more I go into privacy and understanding how my data and information is being used, I really appreciate companies who are just so transparent, so open, being publicly audited, having open source code that can be analyzed, debated, and it's a peace of mind. It's really a piece of freedom that I think we need to see with more applications. I think big tech companies have kind of taken advantage of us just being kind of lazy. I mean, I know for myself, I just relied on Apple Photos for so many years and just didn't think about it. It was just easy. I was able to put all my photos organized it for me, but I didn't realize that my photos might have been accessible via Apple, of course, and even more and more in different countries, the governments. I don't want this information being wide open for anyone to see. It's my personal information and I feel as a human, we have the right to privacy. So thank you so much for watching this video. I would also like to thank the channel supporters. And again, thank you so much for watching and see you soon.